my name is Stevie Marchant and this is my woodshop. Today we're going to be talking about the hand playing, how to use it and how it works. And by no means do I profess to be a, an expert or a professional at using a hand plane, but I know enough about one to get one set up and use it properly. The first plane I'm going to show you and demonstrate is this one. This is a Draper Expert, unlike me. Uh, number five, I don't know what that means in terms of planes, I think it's just to do with the size of the, the plane. But this is the one that I use for smoothing out long, large pieces of wood. Uh, so they start off with something like that, really rough, it turns into something like that. So, starting off with a larger plane, you can see it's a very nice, smooth, flat surface along the bottom with a small blade sticking out the top. So the blade is set down at an angle pointing forwards and as you run the plane along the wood this way then the flat surface rides along the wood and that blade cuts or shaves the top off leaving the wood hopefully matching the flat surface you have here. And because it is long and flat, you can go the length of a piece of wood and get it smooth. Say if you had a curve in your wood like this, the, bl the plane obviously can't follow the curve along like that. It goes along the top nice and flat. So what it will do is it will flatten down the raised surfaces first. So it will shave, gap, shave, shave, gap, shave and it will shave the two higher surfaces until it reaches the lower surface and you'll get a continuous long shave. And that will level the wood out to make a long straight surface. Okay, so now I'm going to demonstrate how to use your hand plane or bench plane on your workpiece. So first of all, you've got to secure your workpiece to the bench. Um, what I've done is just screwed a scrap piece of 2x4 on here to put it up against so the forward pressure of the plane won't push it along any further. Um, I prefer not to use a clamp on these because the clamp just gets in the way. You have to keep repositioning and reclamping it. So this I find works better for me. If it's a smaller piece, what I'll do is I'll screw a scrap piece in front of it and then another one behind and that stops it from moving backwards and forwards. So we've got the rough piece that we want planing facing upwards. Make, make sure our plane is properly set up. I'm going to link a video down in the description to Matt Eslier's video. I hope I pronounce his name right, Matt Eslier. Uh, he is the authority on setting up hand planes as far as I'm concerned. So you start with the front flat piece of your plane, press it against the back piece of your wood. Firm pressure on the front handle here, pressing it down. Grip firmly the back handle and then push forward. And what you want to see is some wide, thin wisps of wood like that. So if you can hear it juddering, or you can hear it sort of going. That means it's wavy up and down, and you can see on the wood where it's shaved, missed a bit, shaved, missed a bit, shaved. That's because, as I mentioned earlier, the wood is raised in certain places and slightly dipped in others. So the plane is shaving down the higher spots and working its way down to make it nice and smooth. So one of the most satisfying parts of planing wood, <laughs> not only do you get a nice smooth flat finish, you also get some very nice 
long twisty bits of wood and they just they're, they're quite satisfying <laughs> and that really is all there is to know about the hand plane um, other than obviously sharpening the blade and setting it up initially which like i said matt eslier will very kindly show you in his video so its main purpose pretty much its only purpose is to shave flat a piece of rough wood so it's nice and smooth and ready to work with it's coffee time! <sighs> right, so the next plane that I own that I'm going to show you is the block plane. This one over here. So as you can see, it's a lot smaller <laughs> than the other one. Much less surface area for the wood. The purpose of this plane is to run along edges of the wood. So if you've got a very thin piece of wood, well I'll say thinner than that blade running along there, then you simply run the blade along the edge to get a flat and smooth edge along one side. I'll show it to you now. So I'm going to be demonstrating today on this piece of scrap English oak. So if you'll notice there's a little nick in the wood there and some discoloration here as well some chipping on that side there. So we're going to clean that up. I'm going to clamp it into my vise. Nice and tight, but not tight enough that you're going to damage the wood. Grab your block plane, and it is as simple as start off at the front of your plate, the same as before, and push along. And same as with the other plane, you'll get these nice thin shavings. So that's when you know when your plane is set up properly, you'll get thin shavings of wood. And already the markings have disappeared. There's still that little nick in it there. So I'll give it another couple of goes. And that's that. Hold on. You see along the wood there, no nicks, no discoloration. Okay, the third and final plane that I own is this little guy here, which is the spoke shave. And as you can see, it's got a very small planing surface on it, so it's not really designed for smoothing out long flat pieces of wood. Um, probably not very good for the edge either because it's a little bit wobbly. But what it, do, it does have is a pair of handles, one for each of your hands, and to use this you can either draw it towards you on the wood like that, or push it away from you on the wood. I'll just demonstrate that out for you. So the most useful thing about a spoke shave is that you can round edges corners um, on pieces of wood like this. So I'm going to be demonstrating again on the same piece of scrap oak as I had before. Clamp it up into my vise. What I'm going to do, I'm going to start by drawing it towards me. Like I said, you can do it either way and take this corner off. And now I'm just going to flip it over so I can do the other side. Pulley way. Get the shavings out of the way. So similarly, as before, nice little wispy bits. They'll be a lot thinner because you're only doing a corner at a time rather than the whole width of it. And there we go. So as you can see we've got a nice little rounded edge there. All the way along. And here's everybody's favourite part about woodworking.
Okay, so just a quick uh, note about the price on these different blades. Uh, spoke shave, this one cost me about two pound actually, it was on sale from a uh, local woodworking shop. They usually go for about a fiver, these ones, nice cheap. The block plane, that's about 10 to 15 pounds, could be more depending on what brand you go for, the adjustability on it. This one literally adjusts in and out. <laughs> And then lastly, the the Draper Expert. I got this one from Tool Station. This one was £25, uh, worth every penny, in my opinion. You can get planes upwards of £100. You can get them cheaper, depending on what size you want, what quali you know, quality, what brand you're after, that kind of thing. Okay, so one of the most important things to remember about using a plane is that you should always cut along the direction of the grain. And basically what that means is that's, that's the direction that the tree grows in. So if you look at a piece of wood here that we use today, it's the lines going up here. You never play in across the grain of wood because you get so many chips, tear out, your plane gets jammed. Uh, it's a lot smoother if you go down the grain of the wood following the lines. So you'll get a much smoother plane and it'll be a lot easier on you, your tool, and your wood. And as an added bonus for you guys, I'm going to show you my personal, absolute favourite plane to use. Ready? And that's that from me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up, hit the like button if you did. Be sure to subscribe to my channel so not to miss a video. Please leave a comment in the comment section down there somewhere. What you thought of this video, if there's anything you'd like to see added, anything you want to take away. And I will see you all next Monday. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.